Hello everybody, Ponzi here. Welcome to Test It on Humans, an escape room puzzle adventure game. So here we go, let's check it out. Wake up, Alex. Again? Oh no, no. I have to get out of here. Wake up, Alex. Is that my name? This has happened before. We are in a prison cell. Maya, Edna, Adam, Mike. All those rooms have, have names. All those rooms have names. These are puzzles, emos. Uh, something is missing here. Missing a puzzle tile. Okay. Alex. Puzzle, puzzles everywhere. So what can I do? Something is missing again. My first objective is probably get out of my own prison cell. <laughs> we are locked in here. And another puzzle. Puzzles everywhere. <laughs> Boats. Gear wheels. Oh, this one is not missing pieces. I can do this out. But I don't know the sequence. Need a clue. Could this be the clue? The box? Oh? Put the box in a special order. A specific sequence. So put them on the right hand side. One, two, three, four. Look at the arcs. The position of the arcs. So this one is a one. That means a blue book is number one. Ah, this one is number three. Four. And two. So that's the color sequence. Okay. Can I translate that into the sequence of the gear wheels? It's probably blue, green, yellow, and red. Blue, green, yellow, red. Let's try this out. Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. Is it correct? It is the right sequence. Aha! Oh, there's something inside. A fuse. Looks like a fuse. Number one fuse. New in the inventory. Perfect. How do I open up my inventory? Spacebar. I? Oh, inventory. Number one. Number one fuse. Also have a diary option here on the right. No entries yet. So put the fuse down here, number one. Oh, it's automatically put down onto the shelf. And now it's time for another puzzle. What is that light bulb? Symbol there. A hint? Option. Perhaps. 15. Add the numbers to 15. Across. And... Yeah, I think horizontally and vertically. Not sure about diagonally though. 9, 2, 4. That's 15. 7, 2. And 6. That's 15. 8. 6. 1. That's 15. 9, 1, 5. 15. 5, 7, 3. 15. And we are done! Pretty simple. Ha! <laughs> Another clue. This is the first room, guys. So we got very simple puzzle here. New in inventory paper 215. Okay, let's place it on the bed. 215. So I need to line them up. I can see a thing I can faintly see a 3x2 rectangular shape here. So put the papers onto the grid. It's like this, two, one, five, four, three at the bottom. Nice. Um, what does that do? Well, what about the panel here? Two, 
Do I input in the numbers? 21543. 21543. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this again. 215. Oh, press the middle button first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The sequence. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4. Oops. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yeah, bingo! Aha! Maya! Ooh! Very big, big zero. <laughs> Set a number, a number zero. Maya, Edna, Adam, and Mike. Ooh! So many numbers. John, Cleo, Knox, and Alex, my room. So do all the rooms have puzzles, I wonder? Nox. Oh, another puzzle! What is this? Uh, I can do this now. That means I don't need a glue. Four, two... Put the balls onto the slots. So th this column is a four. That means it has all the balls. <laughs> He has four balls in the column. Zero, zero. So five across horizontally. So let's put this here at the bottom with the three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I need to uh, satisfy all the numbers, the number requirements, as long as I do that, I can finish the puzzle. So two at the bottom. Yeah! Got it. Another clue. One, two, three in. Oh. What does that mean? You can also rotate the piece of paper. Four, five, six out. What? <laughs> A clue for which puzzle? Maya Edna. What does this mean here? These circles here. One, two, three, four, huh? Okay, this reminds me of something. <laughs> something you can roll. Something you need in a board game. <laughs> you roll the dice. Aha, look at this. Another room with numbers on the walls. So no other puzzles here. Only the numbers. So they're all like this. The rooms on this side are all the same. Okay, what about this one now? Cleo. Search for the blue circles. X, X plus 2. Y and X plus Y. Huh? Search for the blue circles. I need to search for the blue circles. <laughs> it's telling me to do that. It's telling me to do so. <laughs> search for the blue circles. We also have numbers here though. And the layout is exactly the same. Huh? Search for the blue circles. And then we have X and Y. So pick a number for X. And then X plus 2. So let's say if I pick 1 for x, then x plus 2 equals a 3, 1, 3, and y, can I just take a, uh, take any number and put them into the equation, or take them onto these uh, blue balls? 
Can I just take any numbers and replace them with X and Y? Search for the blue circles. Okay, we'll come back to this. Not sure what that is about. Maybe we need another clue, guys. Okay, this room here. Unseen faces. Huh? Unseen faces? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have that clue, the clue sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three in. And four, five, six out. Is this related, guys? Unseen face, unseen faces. Green, red. Green, red. Unseen faces! Unseen face of the dice. Oh, there are five sides here. There is a side that is supposed to be on the gate. That's the unseen face. Oh, I get it now. So, okay, let me go back to the puzzle here. I need, I need four numbers, four rooms: green, red, green, red. Ah, the four rooms are cross. So, what is the unseen face? Unseen number. Two, three, one, four, five. It's missing a six. Four, five, three, one, six. I'm missing a two. So six, two. I need to remember this. <laughs> Should I write this down? Six, two. Five, four, two, six, one. Missing a three. So six, two, three. Six two three. Six two one three four. Missing a five. Six two three five. Six two three five. The C ones. Six two three five. In that order, right? Yes. Yeah. Blue circles! We found the blue circles. Ah! Those are the blue circles! What is this? Voluntary... Request? Huh? Just say a form. Voluntary request? So, okay, hold on. Let me go back to this puzzle here now. We have the blue circles. Okay, hold on. So, these four spots. Mm -hmm. Those four spots. Four, three. Four, three. Four, three, seven, and six. Those are the ones with the blue circles, guys. Four, three, seven, and six. So how do I input that in? What is up with the X and Y? Four, three, and six. So one other number is an X. So four three seven six. So X is a four. Four plus two equals a six. Need to fit into those blue circles. Four four. Four plus two equals a six. So Y is what? Y is. A three. No, wait, hold on, guys. Four. Why is a three? So, three plus four equals a seven. <gasps> okay. Yeah, we got the three, uh, the four numbers out. So it is four, six, three, seven. In that order. Right? 4, 6, 3, 7. So we press 
the numbers 4, 6, 3, 7 in that sequence. Okay, let me try that out. 4, Oh, is that correct? Yeah, we got it. Nice. Don't trust the gods. Seven to four, six to six, five to five, huh? Eight to seven, nine to six, and uh, a space equals one. What is that? An unknown. A a minus sign equals one. Don't use maps. Do not use maps. Aha. Uh -huh. So what's over here? Did we solve all the puzzles? I think so. Yeah, all four puzzles on this side. And then we got uh, the faces on this side. Yeah, we got them all. Security cameras, cells, bigger than nine. So those are the rooms. The different prison cells, four on each side. You, that's my cell, guys. <laughs> it's so explicit, telling me that that is my cell. Security cameras, there's a big seven. So the five, five, seven, five, seven, six, five, seven, six. <laughs> Look at all the numbers in there. Fifteen. I don't know. Six. There's so many numbers. Zero, five, five, zero, six. Those are big numbers. Sedation room. Something is missing here. Swipe. So I need a key card. I need an access card. Investigation room. My blue access card. That one is orange. Orange blue. Where are the security cameras? I don't see them around. Are they all hidden? They're supposed to be how many? Six security cameras. Are they inside the prison cell? Any camera around? I don't see them. Oh. Corridor. A red color access card. God booth. 74 minus 23 equals 3 But that is wrong It is supposed to be 51 hmm. Can I input in the code? 74 minus 23 equals 3 Can I fix the equation to make it work? Let me try inputting in the number 74 23 Oh, 7 numbers Right? 7 numbers 7 number code Huh Is this related to the clue? Okay, wait up Uh don't trust the god. I'm supposed to translate the numbers into other numbers. Maybe this is the clue to the puzzle. There's a minus sign. Minus sign equals 1. Okay, I can input in numbers here. Um, how many numbers? It's a 7 digit code. So I need to somehow fix the equation here. Uh, this reminds me of, um, you know, numbers with matches. 
maybe I need to remove a match here and there and place it on another spot to fix the equation, fix the numbers, and then we can input in the correct code down below. Yeah, this feels like that kind of puzzle. Okay, what about the clue? Um, hold on. We have clues here. Don't trust the gods. Replacing the numbers? Ah. Oh. Don't use maths. Are we talking about the equation here? 4, 5, 6 out and 1, 2, 3 in. We used the middle one already, the blue circles. We haven't used this one, the first one. Do I use them together? That's one clue. Replacing the numbers. So we place 4 with 1, 5 with 2, 6 with 3. Okay, let me look at this one. Don't trust the gods. Isn't this the god station? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. A god booth. Maybe that is the right clue for this puzzle. So it's not the first one then. Don't trust the gods. Don't use maps. Because the numbers, they are not what they seem. I had to change the numbers. Okay, let me copy this down, everybody. Oh, you know what? I'll take a picture. <laughs> Much easier this way. You know what? I need to take notes here. I feel like this game requires note taking. So let me get a piece of paper. Okay. So 7 to 4, 6 to 6, 5 to 5. So some of the numbers I do not change. 6 to 6, 5 to 5. Interesting. 8 to 7, 9 to 6. And minus 2, 1. We have a minus sign in the equation. Ooh. There is a minus sign here, guys. So we place a minus sign with 1. 7, 4, 1, 2, 3. So according to the clue, 7 to 4. So, so change 7 to 4. So... 7 to 4. But the problem is that the clue doesn't have all the numbers. So do I keep the 4 and the 2 and the 3? Because the, the note doesn't have 4, 2, and 3. Why are 6 and 5 saying the same here? Money sign is a 1. Don't use maps. Six, five, five, five different lines. One minus sign is a one. I got it. I know what's going on here now. <laughs> so I did talk about matches earlier. It's like number of matches require for the numbers. Minus sign is one, so one nine. 5 is 5 lines. Look at this. It's like 5 matches. So it's a 5. 6 is a 6. And the number 7 here using 4 matches. So it's a 4. I got it. Oh, okay, I got it now. Am I explaining this correctly? <laughs> Do you guys understand what I'm saying? It's like the number of lines required for that particular number. Oh, I get it. 
Okay. So seven is a four. See, one, two, three, four. Like that. One, two, three, four is a four. It says the same. Minus sign is a one. One, two, three, four, five. Two is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Three is a five. Equal sign is two. Two lines. Three is a five. Ah. Wow. So that's why that note is saying don't trust the gods, don't use maps. Because this is not map. <laughs>